Hey, but it's Miss Buggy here, coming after the Borderlands 3 video. Today I'm coming after a flak build that is a classic. It's a peregrine build with a fish slap, but it has a bunch of new items in it that allows you to just deal a billion damage really, really easily. Ever since level 72, we also got a chance to upgrade our skill trees in the last time, so stay tuned till the end for that. Now, before we continue, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You have no idea how much it helps me out, and let's get into it. So the first things first, let's talk about the fish slap. The fish slap is one of the better grenades in the game because it deals melee damage and melee itself can deal really really good especially with the groundbreaker perk that you get from investing points in the guardian rank but besides that the fish slap itself always seems to deal tons and tons of damage no matter what type of build you're doing but this build we are going to optimize this fish slap damage itself we have an action skill and bonus incendiary damage it is one of the better elements in the game so we are able to be effective against most targets so let's first talk about the artifact we have here now unleash the dragon is a great artifact if you're doing any Thing melee as many Amara mains know but for those of you who don't know at least the dragon has this great ability that when you melee the enemy it puts a fire dot on them with a hundred percent chance rate and it does crazy amount of dot damage the dot itself seems to scale insanely with melee itself so you'll see randomly when you melee someone you'll be like oh it did like poopy damage but the fire debuff just does like millions of damage by itself even if you have a crappy melee without any groundbreaker behind it so we have a perfect unleash the dragon level 72 unleash the dragon doesn't have a lot of secondary stats you can have i'm pretty sure it's just incendiary damage melee damage and incendiary resistance so it's easy to get a god rule of the unleash the dragon just a couple of farms and you'll get it, it has melee and incendiary damage which helps us a lot since rack attacks do deal fire damage itself so it allows us to deal crazy amounts of action skill damage as well which then allows us to give tons of melee damage with the groundbreaker perk so next we have the peregrine class mod the peregrine class mod when a rack attack hits your grenade throws out so this just allows us to throw out a grenade every single time we throw out a rack attack with this class mod i have three secondary stats that's going to help us a lot first one is action skill cooldown rate action skill cooldown rate is the least important secondary stat for this build because we have lots of points in our skill tree that allows us to get our action skill back really really quick but the two important ones here are melee damage and action skill damage obviously action skill damage increases our rack attack damage which you know would allow us to increase our groundbreaker damage and then melee damage just allows us to our melee damage overall it's just really really crazy how much melee damage we can deal on top of that we are using a shield by the name of the revolter with action skill start activate any effects that trigger on shield break or fill this allows us to activate the revolter shield break which just allows you to deal shock damage with all your weapons including your action skills which is just insane and it does have a little secondary buff that allows you to increase your fire rate as well when you become shock and rage for 15 seconds so that's very very useful in case you want to switch to any other weapon as we'll go into a little bit later. Most important thing here to increase your damage on really any gimmicky build is Guardian Angel. Guardian Angel increases the amount of damage we deal based on the distance. I believe it does five times maximum damage if you're max distance away, which is just crazy. And then we have action skill and melee damage is increased by 100% for a short time. So this combined with everything else, we have around three times more melee, just baseline, plus Guardian Angel times five. So you're dealing like eight times more damage than you normally would with the fish slap. And then you proc that with the Unleash the Dragon, which puts a dot on the enemy. And since the dot scales with your melee damage, the ignite dot that is on the enemy just does hundreds of millions of damage really, really quick per tick, which is absolutely crazy. The Guardian Angel isn't too much of a slouch on the shooting itself. When you shoot with it, it does actually decent damage. It's not like the main focus of the build, but you could shoot and kill enemies as I have with this build multiple times. But besides that, if you really want to go out there and start shooting, I do still have my OPQ system from my last flak build. Last time we used it to spawn infinite drones, but this time we're really just using it in case we have any flying enemies that we need to deal with. You'll probably see in the clip here that I'm shooting at racks right away as soon as I see them because they are very pesky to hit with rack attacks and a grenade. So we switch to the OPQ system anytime we need to kill any enemies because it deals crazy amounts of damage it has an action skill and next to magazines it increase incendiary damage which is just great it allows us to just beam enemies and kill them right away but mainly i like to keep the guardian angel out to increase our rack attack damage and grenade damage as much as possible on top of that i've never found it necessary but i do have a z eruption gun that allows us to increase the damage if you want it puts a debuff on the enemies that increases the amount of damage you deal like the it's piss grenade but I never found it's necessary, so I don't actually use it, but I still have it here in case you want to kill the raid boss. 
I wouldn't recommend going against Raid Boss with this build since the Frack attacks don't hit the Raid Boss still, which is really dumb that Gearbox hasn't fixed that. But besides that, it's fine. Of course, you can just throw the fish slaps maybe underneath Hermie and Vermi, but I wouldn't recommend it. I'm sure you could kill them with this build, but it's probably be a pain since you can't hit them with the rack attacks. So next, I'm going to go to the skill tree, but first I want to say the real combo on what you want to do with this build. You want to have the Guardian Angel out on all times to increase your melee damage since it has action skill and increased melee damage. You basically want to just go rack attack and then those will hit the enemies, drop the grenade, and since rack attack does scale weirdly with grenades, increases the amount of damage you deal than you would normally throwing the grenade. So the rack attacks that drop the grenades deal a lot more damage than the on throw grenades, which it's still really peculiar on why that is, but it doesn't really matter because it's just a benefit for us really. You want to activate your action skill to activate your revolter, your action skill ends, and the action skill end activates as soon as rack attack hits the enemy, so when the grenade drops it's going to have the bonus action skill end from the guardian angel so that's very very useful to keep in mind you're going to be dealing fire melee aka kinetic and shock all at once so you're not going to have to worry about elements of resistances and you have the unleashed dragon dot to kill any enemy in case they for some reason survive the hit like wayboard he survived the hit and then he took one tick of the dot and he died immediately it was absolutely crazy when i saw that wasn't expecting this build to deal that much damage but it is able to deal <laughs> billions of damage really really easy it's awesome and after you kill your enemy you're going to have a bunch of kill skills active that allows you to run really fast as you see in the clips here i'm running really fast all over the place and trying to be as fast as possible killing all the enemies shooting my guardian angel where it counts in case i can get a kill with them i kill many enemies with the guardian angel shots itself as long as they're not badasses the badasses usually require the rack attacks to kill but since we're done with that let's move on to the skill tree if you guys seen any of my other peregrine builds you'll know that the skill tree looks kind of similar it does have some points that are missing because this grenade doesn't deal any gun damage so we removed most of the gun damage related points but let's just get into it we have max points into stalker it's just an amazing kill skill that increases your damage second intention really is just a throwaway point i had three extra points i didn't need so i just put that in there in case we want to increase our reload speed Hunter's Eye just increases the amount of damage we deal. Head count is essential to increase your action skill cooldown so you have rack attacks at all times. Because of the cooldown rates that we get from this skill and another skill we'll talk about in the green tree, we never worry about running out of rack attacks. So that is really, really great. Ambush Predator increases our critical hit. Mid game really just helps all our kill skills. Most dangerous game increases our damage overall. Grim Harvest once again increases our damage. Really, really important skill because it increases our action skill damage by 50%. Galactic Shadow increases our critical hit damage and the megavore allows us to crit with the grenade so the grenade itself doesn't actually crit unless you have action skill and elemental of anything so the reason for that is because melee can't actually crit so the fish slap itself can't crit but elemental action skill ends on top of that can crit because of the way it works in the damage formula so megavore actually does benefit your fish slap hits tremendously it deals crazy amount of damage with the megavore when it procs and it does proc often since we have two elementals on itself so those both have a chance on critting as i think it might just be one chance in both crit but i don't remember it doesn't matter it gets megavore it helps with every build with flak no reason not to get it then we go to the green tree five points into furious attack to increase our damage five points in eager to impress this is one of the most important points you want in this build this point might even be more important than the head count ability we we're talking about that increases our cooldown rate because every time we kill an enemy our action skill cooldown time is reduced by 1.25 seconds which is increased to 1.75 seconds because of our class mod this just allows us to get our action skill back all the time i never run out of rack attacks because of this skill tree point always get it with a peregrine build next we have some handy health stuff we won't talk too much about that we have hidden machine which is increases our damage another health regeneration which is useful since we don't have any life steal with flak and then the power inside which every time we activate our action skill it increases the amount of damage we deal and at full health it increases the damage by 50 percent as opposed to 25 percent and then when we move on to the blue tree normally with peregrine builds we never go into the blue tree because we can never get down far enough to actually benefit the peregrine grenades itself but because we're level 72 we can actually go down to frenzy frenzy gives us 
4% damage per stack and the max stacks is 10 which means that we can get 40% more damage overall which is just absolutely crazy. The 5 points we have up here are really just filler. The action skill duration doesn't really do anything for us here and the pet damage is okay for the pet if you want but the main thing you want in the blue tree is to get down the frenzy because that increases your damage by a crap ton. And I failed to mention it here but I'm using the spider ant scorcher. The spider ant scorcher increases our elemental damage and since we're going around using elemental damage itself this allows us to increase our damage. Elemental Scorcher is really the pet you want in every single build unless you're going for a robot build. Most of the time Spider Gant Scorcher increases your damage more than any other pet so always go for that guy. At least I say so. And then the action skill augments we have is Flock and Load and Rack Celebrate. Rack Celebrate increases our cooldown rate by 20% which means it takes longer for our cooldown to refresh which means in theory it would we're taking longer to get our action skill but the one plus charge just allows us to get more rack attacks on our character itself and even despite that I never have less than two stacks with the action skill so I never run a rack tax despite that so don't even worry about that little handicap we have here and then the flock and load just sends out additional racks just to increase our total DPS. So then let me just do a recap of the skill tree again. We got all the way down in red, all the way down in green, and just five points in the frenzy with blue and you're good to go. These are my guardian ranks. These are my mayhem mode. I'm running mayhem 10 not because it increases our damage at all but it increases our loot drop rate which allows us to get more grenades when we're fighting regular enemies which is very useful because you don't want to run out of grenades to optimize your DPS. If you guys want other level 72 builds I have plenty on the channel. Right now I have a OPQ plus Minesweeper Mose build that allows you to just deal crazy amounts of gun damage and iron barrel damage at the same time. It focuses on dealing crit damage and hitting crits thus we use the Minesweeper to proc the Minesweeper multiple times to just deal millions upon millions damage it's a lot of fun and you get infinite ammo without going in the green tree with that build so click up there for that if you want an amara build that does action skill damage and a ton of gun damage try my needle gun plus fantastic light build it allows you to send a ball crazy around the area all the time and it does 1 billion damage against the raid boss and grave ward it's just crazy how much damage it does if you want a Moe's build that is all about melee, you can use Iron Bear itself to deal tons and tons of melee damage with the Bear Fist because it was buffed with the anointment that recently came out. And then you combine that with Flare, which just increases your damage by a crazy amount. You're able to deal 1 billion damage per hit with your fist. It's just absolutely crazy. And I mentioned it a little bit earlier in the video, but I do have an OPQ system plus the Infernal Wish build with Black. That allows you to spawn infinite drones, which is just crazy. Because you're able to spawn infinite drones, you basically have an infinite DPS. Whoever you aim at just dies instantly. It's absolutely crazy. Alrighty, buddies, that's all I have for today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope y'all have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs> And the last shall be First to immerse in a pass out heat Facing him up with a moxie melt Till he woke up drowning in tchotchke hell Born a cave with a torch on a wall Then a window arrangement of porcelain dolls